Alright guys, well, we're out here at uh, a nice place and uh, we flipped a log and we found this Atlantic Coast Slimy Salamander. We flipped it on uh, Chlorobinus. Um, these are very common species of salamander. Um, they're just about found under every single log out here. But uh, yeah, the most easy way to tell them is because they're a uh, plain black body and the, black and the little white speckles on the side. And uh, it's actually pretty cold out today. Oh. And uh, I actually think these should be called sticky salamanders because they're really not slimy. They're just sticky. And uh, I don't want to touch them too much because they're lungless salamanders and they breathe through their skin. And so if I get oils on them, he might uh, die. But you can see they're pretty cool. They're really cool looking. But uh, this is actually an adult size. They don't get much bigger than this. Most of the ones we find are a little bit small like that. But uh, what's interesting about this species is that... Uh, they actually don't have a metamorphous stage. They're actually they hatch just like adults from an egg, so they're actually born just like a normal salamander. They don't go through tadpole stage or anything. But uh, but yeah, you can tell very flat snout, big bulgy eyes, and this is uh, salamanders are unique because they can actually grow limbs back and fingers and stuff. And uh, but I actually know a lot of people that actually have trouble telling salamanders apart from skinks. So uh, we actually have a skink here to uh, show you too. Um, you can see the difference. Oh, one thing, salamanders don't really bite like that. I know a couple do, but and uh, but if you look up close, you can tell that the skink has small scales, but this one has a smooth uh, skin. And there's also these little grooves on the side, which are actually increase the surface area of the skin. <laughs> but uh, also, I mean, look at the tail difference. Blue, and plus you can see scales on there. Belly, you can see scales no scales that's actually that looks like a male because he's got a darker chin and uh... amphibian this actually when's the breeding season for these guys you know I think they breed pretty when? much alright anyways but uh... yep there you go they must have strong jaw muscles because you can see they got lumps all along the side of the head which indicate strong jaws but you see their little feet little hands they're really cool um, we got a couple species of uh, salamander out here. This is one of them. And, uh, but yeah, you can tell the difference. Oh. There, yeah, I can see the white stuff. This is a very plain looking one. Yeah, I, I thought it was the maybes, dude. Yeah. I was getting ready to pull the maybes. Right? The maybes are that color, yeah. but they got a they're little. Thicker. They got more, it's more small speckling. And plus, they're ambistoma, so. Mm -hmm. they're oh, more, yeah, you'll know. 